the technique we're talking about here in, in this uh, Chopin prelude is, you know, really simple on the outset, but it's, there's a little bit of a challenge to it because it really demands a certain amount of independence in the right hand. What you need to do is be able to play block chords on the bottom, particularly in this case, uh, you know, five, four, and, and third string, fifth, fourth, and third string. So you could just hold an E chord if you want to. And ideally, without rolling it, you want to play it nice and straight. Don't be bamboozled by a lot of those versions on YouTube of this piece where every, every chord is arpeggiated. There's no indication in the score that these chords should be arpeggiated. And frankly, they're meant to be hypnotic and repetitive. So try to keep that nice and clear. Notice my wrist isn't moving. I'm preparing on each note and following through thumb and fingers. Now the magic trick is once you can do this, you want to get that A finger in there and you want to go at first roll the A finger is going to do a rest stroke and the fingers are going to follow through So occasionally for effect, you'll roll them, but don't feel like you have to roll them. You need to be able to play them without the roll. Or a minimal roll. Now, when you get to a situation where the melody doesn't have, um, or has, where there's an accompaniment note on a string adjacent to the melody, as in bar, f uh, bar five, then you'll have to s probably avoid the rest stroke. And use a free stroke. Right? So that's a, a challenging technique, um, but one that really demands a certain amount of independence. And once you can bring out that melody and sing it, it really is a, a powerful, powerful technique and a, and a beautiful sound. So practice that and uh, try to get that finger independence really working for you.